Okay, we're here at Han Equipment uh, in Houston in the Heights with Knee and Hung. And we're going to work on this, reassemble this 20 horsepower, 3152 flight pump. All right. Okay, further on, you know, we uh, talk about the tool we need. So that's all the tool we need for this kind of pump. So we have the 10 millimeter Allen head, 8 millimeter Allen head, 30 millimeter socket, and a diesel, and a ratchet, a couple, you know, fly, you know, for glow and open the slip, you know, screwdriver. And um, so today we uh, go to uh, assembly or uh, installing the uh, uh, seal. Building and O-ring, we call the basic repair kit. On okay. Thirty-one fifty-two um, fly pump twenty hawk. So what's included in the basic repair so, kit? Uh, the first one we're talking about the O-ring. They have the O-ring kit. I mean, they have on the O-ring for the pump. So this one right here, the black one, they call the you know, nitro rubber. They can go up to the uh, one hundred degree. Okay. So, and this one here, the green one, they call the Viton O-ring. They can take up to. Uh, 300 degree. So, oh, wow. That's yes, a big difference. This one right here, you know, we, they use for inside the pump. Mm -hmm. You know, in case the motor get hot, but they still, you know, can handle the heat. Okay. So the vital o-ring. But we, on this one, get a stand-up pump, so we use the, the nitro rubber. And this one, the building. Lower building. So, we put, you already put green in there. But per, per fly, you know, expect we don't put more than 70% degree. Because if you put too much green overfill, there will be the degree later mm -hmm. they go hard dry and maybe overheat on the building when that bearing is entered or inserted does it matter which side is up or down no you on this kind of pump both sides the same okay so it doesn't matter so they want the lower seal they want the upper seal we're going to roll the building mm -hmm. because they want to get the ring and then all the part you know they go on the top of the, the shaft right mm -hmm. here and it's worth noting the bearings are rated for a minimum of 50,000 hours bearing life at any point on a flight curve. Oftentimes calculations can be performed to get a rating of 100,000 hours minimum bearing life depending upon the point on the curve that the pump operates. Yeah, and one more thing, the building from flight, they can go up to 250 degree. 250 degrees. Yeah, hot. Nice. Okay, and, the, and one more thing, that's a very important thing, that's seal. Seal. On this kind of pump, we have two seal. You know one, you want the inner seal or upper seal. Upper seal. So they brought take the oil, not go up to the state of housing. Mm -hmm. And this say active seal. You will see the little line yes. there. They fly going, they want a non lick seal. Let's point out those grooves. Yeah, the groove yeah. right here. So that you know constitutes when, the active seal. Yeah, active seal. Whenever they, they turn rotation, they can like throw the, the oil out. So right. they want fly going the non lick seal. So it, it pushes liquid and, and media out. away from yeah. the internal portion of the motor. Yep, right okay. here. Gotcha. That's the upper seal and the lower seal. The lower seal. You know, fly seal, they have the mannequin different. On this pump, they use a tungsten carbide. Tungsten carbide seal, yeah, which is less off. likely to, to yeah. crack and less brittle than a silicon carbide seal. Yes, and this so one good for the... Uh, upper seal? Upper seal lower and lower seal, seal or outer seal the same. Okay. So, right. and on the both, you know, everything right here, they ready for, we put back together the pump. Great. And this one right here, that's the rotor and the shaft for this pump. Mm -hmm. See, rotor and the shaft for this pump. And then the stator, stand it up. We have the terminal bowl on the top. On the bottom, we're widening to the 480 already. So, so and it's worth noting that that terminal board is uh, in lieu of, of wire nuts that a lot of the competitors would use. So let me ask you, could that actually be re rewired for 230 yes. volts? Yes, on this pump, you can rewire to 230 or 460. We have diagram for it. Okay. So right now, not on the 230 right now. Mm -hmm. You see, if you want, we can rewind to the 460, but okay. we just change the, the wiring in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the other side, they go to the cable. Great. Okay. All right. Right now, you know, uh, whom he go ahead to uh, assembly the building. And the wires are they uh, sealed from the in the junction chamber from the uh, basically right uh, here. It, you know, whenever after they finish, they have the little O-ring right here to protect. So that you know, there's an O-ring to completely seal the junction chamber yes. from the motor. Because you know sometimes either cable cut right. or for any reason gotcha. you want to get up to the top of the pump, they uh -huh. have no way to get inside of the motor. Right. Yeah, because that O-ring right here to to pull pro pro take very good. Gotcha. So okay. Gotcha. All right. Okay. So okay. 
Any questions? No? Oh, so far, okay. so good. Thank we you, guys. So right now, here you go ahead to, to install the, the low building. So we're starting with lower bearings. Yeah, this one right here, not the building holder. This is the okay. bearing holder? Yeah, for the lower building holder. Okay. So you go ahead and do it. Just do it like normal. So I have a little tip right here. Whenever you hit the bell ring you know, inside the building holder, you hit it outside the ring. Okay. Don't hit inside Can the ring. Can you point that out with the uh, outside the with ring what right you here. were using? Okay, so, so you want to hit outside, it on the outside. Don't hit it inside because if you hit inside right here, not the rotation ring right here, they will damage the ball. Wow. Okay, you okay. outside only. So go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a flight authorized service center tip. <laughs> yeah. And this one here, that uh, our tip, you know, I tell you, you know, why we need it. Just can't lie, you know, the whole building not pop out of the building holder when okay. we try to to push everything, you know, on the uh, the, the shelf. Oh, okay. So, okay. So will that be removed later? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Show you why we need it later. That's just for insertion so onto the shaft, and that will prevent the bearing from popping off. Okay. So right now, you know, we have the roller, the shaft go to our hydraulic, you know, uh, pushing machine over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Putting the rotor on the hydraulic push machine, the push press. And on this pump right here, they, they need a washer on the bottom. Okay. And the building holder with the building on there. So. That's why we need this, because sometimes, you know, if we don't have this thing, everything heavy, when you put in here, they hold the building out inside, and the outside maybe they fall out. Gotcha. So that's why we need to want to hold everything in, in place. So, yeah. Okay. And is that just a, a random pipe that we're using for, uh, yeah, for the, pressing with spacers? Yes, yeah. we space it in there. You okay. Know, so. You know, we have many ties, you know, different land for different things. Gotcha. So that tie right there, just for different. You know, before we take it out, we can check right here. Okay, okay, we take right here. We make sure, make sure everything spin good, very smooth. That means we do the right thing. They're not touching anything. So, on this pump, they use to have the they use to have the washer and no, washer in here. Okay. And the little wool right here for the clip. So he do the right. That means they all the way down right here. So how do we know it's right? Just here. You know the washer uh -huh. and the clip will sit right here. Oh, okay. So right now he put the clip in there. Okay. I mean everything you know. Okay. 
All right, that means right now we complete to uh, installing the uh, lower building. So Larry, lower bearing installation you know, is complete. Complete, you okay. know, in the in the uh, building holder mm -hmm. and everything, you know, on the shelf. Okay. Okay. So Great. We take back in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we go ahead to take the uh, the little thing right here out because we already finished. You know, Temporary don't, holder. Yes, they don't right. go nowhere now. No need for that anymore. Mm -hmm. The bearing is in place. Yes. Okay. Now you know we're working on the seal now. So that O-ring right here. You know, have to go on the perm, they go in here. You know, to seal from the building cover or the seal holder, you know, on blade. Right All right. So, so O-ring and then that'll seal the bearing cover onto the seal okay. holder. Okay, tie down. Three bolts. How tight should that be? Oh, I did wonder here, you know, I just uh, recommend to tie my hand only. Hand tight no Hand tight only, no impact. And maybe about 8 to, to 10 pounds. That's okay. it. 8 no to 10 pounds. That. Yeah. To enough, you know, to, 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 to make the seal on the O-ring. So, no need to tie too much. Okay. And now he go ahead to install the uh, upper seal. Okay. Upper seal installation. You know, we always put a little, you know, green around the O-ring, you know, to uh, protect, you know, for, for the rushing over time and, and lubricate, you know, go in there the easier. Mm -hmm. So put a little green around the O-ring. Okay. Like on the way. Yeah, so. Now, does it uh, matter which way we position it? No, sir. You know, on either the, way. Either way. Okay. You put it in there. And so he will have the little screwdriver. They go inside, but only one 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 thing. You know, we we want to tell you, don't never put screwdriver on the seal face. Okay. Never or on the O-ring. Never. You can put it out here. You know, out here. The outer lip. The outer lip. You know, to sometimes you know we can use a little rubber hammer like that. Rubber to, hammer. Yeah, rubber hammer to step a little bit. You know, make sure they go go in inside completely. See that? You will see they go oh, inside nice. completely. Okay. So you will see that. So go inside completely. But make sure you know you're outside the lip. What would happen if you use the inside by accident? By accident, inside it will damage the O-ring. Damage the O-ring. The O-ring, you see a little O-ring inside, mm -hmm. the vital O-ring in here, or the seal face. Okay. Definitely no good. Okay. So you know, get outside the lip. Okay. Um, and you know when we work it like this, you know with dirty, of course we want dirty, so we have to clean up the seal face first before we install the other seal face. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, he likes to put on the floor because it's easy for him, you know, to install the seal sure. you know, on like, like vertical. Okay. So it's in a vertical position on the floor. Looks yeah, like just a is. couple of 4x4 four four blocks. Mm -hmm. You see, you make sure everything is spin free, you know, everything good. All right, and now he clean up the seal face and mm -hmm. install the other seal. The other seal face, actually. 